Hello again, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the dose pin activation and how this activation occurs via a light source. So firstly, when we talk about rhodospin, we have to think about the two things that comprise rhodospin, and that being opsin and retinol. So what happens when light is detected by, you know, the rhodospin protein? So firstly, the light photon comes in to the photoreceptor cells, and it interacts with the retinal portion of the rhodospin. When it interacts with this retinal uh, portion of the rhodospin, an isomerization occurs where the retinal Changes, changes its conformation from an 11 cis conformation to a all trans conformation. And by this transition of conformation, this leads to the retinal portion not being able to fit into the opsin formation. When this occurs, this will ultimately lead to the phototransduction pathway, which is very similar to a G protein coupled pathway. So now to go over the phototransduction pathway very briefly. So when this light occurs and the all trans retinal or the, the all trans conformation occurs, this will ultimately lead to the activation of um, a transducing molecule. Now, once this transducing molecule is activated, this will ultimately activate PDE, which is known as phosphodiesterase. And this enzyme allows for the cleavage of CGMP to create GMP. When this cleavage occurs, the CN CGMP usually binds to CNG channels, and CNG channels are non-selective channels that allow for the influx of uh, sodium into the cell. But when this occurs, the CGMP does not bind to the channel anymore, and therefore the channel closes. So Na plus cannot enter into the, uh, the photoreceptor cell. Now, this is a key difference between you know, a normal neuron and photoreceptor cells, because when photoreceptor cells are activated, they will hyperpolarize. Whereas when a normal neuron is activated, an action potential will be elicited, but this is due to depolarization as sodium ions are coming in. So now that we understand how the photoreceptor cells are different, we could just talk about briefly the, you know, the mechanism of how the, from the original light being um, detected by these photoreceptor cells, this will ultimately lead to um, cognitive processing. So just to go just briefly again, so we have the rhodospin being activated, it absorbs the light. And what this ultimately will do is this will seize the secretion of a neurotransmitter known as glutamate. Now, once the seizure occurs, this will lead to bipolar cells, and these bipolar cells will no longer be inhibited. And due to this lack of inhibition of bipolar cells, these bipolar cells will release more neurotransmitter and stimulate what are known as RGCs or retinal gang ganglion cells. And what these retinal ganglion cells do is they are the cells in the uh, the eye that, or they are the cells. The yeah, they are the cells in the eye that are actually eliciting these action potentials. And then this could lead to um, further cognitive processing, um, allowing your uh, brain to process what it is actually seeing. So this is just a general overview of rhodospin activation and how it is um, controlled via uh, in a light setting or the opposite occurring in a dark setting. Thank you.